the search for extraterrestrial civilizations has been unsuccessful so far. Quantum communication, which utilizes the quantum properties of light, could potentially be a viable method for interstellar communication. However, its practicality and effectiveness are still uncertain and require further exploration. We have been searching for extraterrestrial civilizations by listening to space, but we have not heard anything so far. Arjun Barrera and Jaime Calderon Figueroa from the University of Edinburgh suggest that messages traveling through space could use the quantum nature of light. They published their findings in Physical Review D on June 28. The universe is vast, and it would take generations to reach nearby stars. But if we wanted to send a message across space, we could send it at the speed of light. Most of our searches for intelligent life have focused on electromagnetic radiation. We normally tune into the radio or optical regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Others have proposed that pulsing lasers at the sky might be a clever way to send a message to any civilization that may be listening in. Barrera and Calderon Figueroa propose that information can be encoded in the quantum states of photons. Quantum teleportation uses qubits, the principal unit of quantum information. Traditional particles can be a 1 or a 0, but qubits can be both 1 and 0 until someone observes them. Quantum teleportation is not the teleportation of actual particles, but rather of the information those particles contain. It is incredibly secure and holds promise for all sorts of applications. The authors claim that an interstellar message built in this way could contain a huge amount of information. In order for quantum communication to transmit data over interstellar distances, the message would need to avoid decoherence and maintain high fidelity. Decoherence is a problem when it comes to quantum communications. Fidelity is also important in a quantum message. At relatively short distances, decoherence could be a manageable challenge, the authors calculate. They consider fidelity more important. We could also try to guess the initial state of the message and its source. If we did this, we could reconstruct the message and recover lost fidelity.